It's because of file damage, element files, and probably Rapid Morph 2. Thanks for watching. For more or less the entirety of Rise and Sunbreak, Spajax has been considered a weapon where element matters a lot. However, I think because of the complicated nature of Monster Hunter, typically all that is said is, you should run element. It's good. Here's a big number. But why? Why are some weapons better at element than others? I want to discuss specifically about Switch Axe and why it has been considered a good weapon for element in Monster Hunter Rise. I will try to keep things at a relatively high level to make this as understandable as I can, so if you're not as familiar with how damage works in this game, I really recommend checking out my video on it. I have it linked in the description. However, I will take a moment to set a base before we get into the details. Damage is determined on each of your attacks by the modifier. One determines how much element damage you do, we call this the element modifier. The other determines how much raw or physical damage you do. I wish we called this the raw or attack modifier, but Monster Hunter is an old game and we call this the motion value, and this will probably never change. What's this called? It's a motion value. So this thing determines how much raw damage an attack does, right? Yes. So it's a modifier for attack? Yep. Like an attack modifier? Makes sense to me. So we can call it an attack modifier? It's a motion value. While motion values can vary a lot on the attacks that you do, generally element modifiers are very close to the same. Most attacks apply 100% of your element damage, at least on Switch X. So despite the damage on all of these attacks looking pretty different, the majority of them are dealing the same amount of element damage. So then what makes Switch Axe so special? Despite being a big weapon with wide sweeping attacks, Switch Axe damage generally comes from attacking frequently rather than large single hits. More frequent attacks in a short time frame will result in a larger amount of element applied. This leads into the primary factor of what makes elements so powerful on Switch Axe. Amp state. For the most part, a single file burst will apply as much element as any one of your other attacks. Since a file burst is added to most all attacks while amped, this effectively doubles your element damage while amped. Note, I am saying doubling your element damage, not your overall damage. A file burst only has a 10% motion value. Taking a look at the sword double slash for example, you can see that the file burst damage is the same between both attacks. If we break down these attacks into the raw and element components, you can see that the file burst at 144 element, the same as the sword attacks. But for raw damage, the file burst only add 58 raw. So while it is a decent percentage increase in raw damage, it is effectively doubling the element damage of the attack. Another factor is element files. Element files increase your element damage by 40 5% on your sword and your file damage. If you're using file switch boost, axe morph attacks also get the 45% element, and generally axe morph attacks are the main axe attacks that you should be using. So with element file, generally your element damage is going up by 45%. I'm not going to get into the whole power file versus element file in this video, as it can be a pretty deep subject, and it really depends on the matchups and the build. But the point here is that element file is a factor that allows switch axe to really take advantage of elemental weaknesses compared to other weapons. Lastly, we have the most important skill on Switch Axe in both Rise and Sunbreak, Rapid Morph. Rapid Morph increases the speed of morph attacks by 30%, allowing more attacks to be done in a short time, thus leading to increasing the amount of element damage applied in that time. Obviously, this increases raw damage for the same reasons, but I think it's a worthwhile distinction to point out with Switch Axe. So let's look at some numbers for Switch Axe damage. Tyrant Athlete 4 has seen a ridiculous boost in total element damage. We'll be looking at Volcano's head for the hit zone, which has 55 for raw severing and 20 for fire. Using my fire build, with max out burst, I reach 418 raw and 230 fire element. The build has 3 element exploit, 3 weakness exploit, and 2 crit boost. So look at the full morph loop combo, it can be seen that with all 10 hits including the file bursts, element has increased by so much this update that even though the fire hit zone is just 20, the element damage is about 50% of my total damage now. It is worth mentioning that a factor for this result is dragon conversion builds are doing less raw damage than title update 3 builds since they simply cannot fit the full crit suite. Now I wouldn't take this 50-50 as something true in general, as these values change a lot with different matchups and builds. But I do think it's a decent indicator of how much element has shifted this update. In addition, the value of amp state has also gone up significantly. It is now more important than ever to keep up amp state, as in this case, it is responsible for 33% of the damage. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider liking the video. I'm continuing to plan other content for the channel, so if you did like this, stay tuned. If you want to see that damage explained video, you can check it out right here. Thanks for watching, hunters. Take care.